cruise session. Thank you to all for joining us. We haven't done a meet the cruise for a long time. Oi, let's start with you. It's been a, a really good start to the rally for you. The only issue we could see was your windscreen wipers on the opening stage. How have you found it out there on the two stages? Uh, yeah, it was, uh, let's say it was finally nice to start uh, Rally Monte Carlo in the daylight. So, uh, you know, normally we go in the dark with some uh, ice and tricks. So uh, it's, it's always pretty nervous. Uh, but yeah, I, I can't say there were no nerves this time, but still, uh, I would say overall the first stage was maybe a bit more consistent. And uh, and uh, yeah, the second one was uh, tricky as, as normal with a lot of cuts and mud. So in the end, uh, it was still... Uh, challenging but uh, yeah for sure it was nice to get the first feeling on uh, on the daylight and, and uh, yeah you can at least see where you're going and of course we haven't had a shakedown at this event so essentially that first stage in competition was your shakedown in a way how was the feeling with the car and more importantly the tires because Pirelli come back as our official tire supplier this year what was the feeling like uh, for sure it would have been nice to have a shakedown at least we would have found out that uh, wipers are not really good but uh, yeah that's what the shakedown actually is for to, to check everything is working on, uh, on a good speed and uh, yeah that was uh, missing this time and uh, yeah we had some uh, other stuff to find out during these first two stages but in the end uh, these were the things which didn't cost us too much time and, and uh, I'm sure we can prepare for tomorrow but otherwise the tires they feel pretty okay especially in uh, let's say smooth wet tarmac they seem to be very racy and, and uh, high grip so the performance is definitely there but uh, uh, again from other places where the slick maybe doesn't belong you know the, the drop is quite big and, and uh, it can surprise so I'm sure we, we are still learning and, and uh, we can find out the limits. What are you hearing about conditions for tomorrow because we see a lot of rain in the forecast could that be snow up on the stages tomorrow? Um, we are in the Alps, so basically we can uh, expect anything. And, and uh, I guess uh, it's easier to sleep uh, when you don't think about this too much. So we will find out when we wake up in the night. Well, I wish you a very good night's sleep tonight, Mr. Tanak. Thank you very much. Kale, let's turn to you now. Amazing pace on the opening two stages. You did say that there was going to be a little bit maybe of caution from you, but we didn't see any of that today. Are you happy with your performance? Yeah, for sure. I'm, I'm happy it was a good start. And... Uh, I was also a bit cautious in in few places and uh, at least in the start of the first stage because like uh, like we didn't have to shake down so first time with with new tire Pirelli on the wet uh, so you have to try a bit how it feels and uh, grips up but yeah the tire was quite easy to get along with and uh, it was a nice two stages. We saw some good times from you on this event last year. What is the target this time around though? I think uh, tomorrow it will be more tricky for sure, at least in the morning during dark. And uh, I think the condition is also a bit tricky with the snow and ice maybe. So it's going to be difficult to keep the same pace up. But for sure, I try to be faster than last year and just be consistent. Faster and consistent. But is your mind on the prize, the top step of the podium? Do you think that's possible for you here? I think it's uh, really not my my idea at least in this point of the event for sure i have to see what happens but uh, i always try to be quick but i know here you have to take a big risk to fight for the win and uh, it's not really my plan but uh, yeah let's see okay Kale, thank you very much let's turn to elvin evans now then talk to me about that second stage because you had a little bit of a wait before you got underway it was a bit of a delay to the start not a lot of heat in those tires we saw quite a, a few wiggles on the opening few hundred meters or so of the stage. Was it a little bit hairy at the start with cold tires? Yeah, you could say that. Um, I think uh, the Pirelli works well when they're up to temperature, to be honest, but perhaps you need that temperature to really get the feeling and, and get the confidence and, and just calm things down a little bit. But uh, it was difficult at the start of that stage. Obviously, we start on quite a wide road, but then immediately slot into this very narrow village um, where there's snow on the side and, and really very very little grip so not a lot of opportunity to to heat up the tire uh, what you really want is sort of like a, a very twisty wide road then you can really start to, to load things up but it was difficult to to really get the the heat into the tire and, and then get the feeling so it was a difficult start for us at that stage but um we got through it Talking of targets, I'm sure your target is for the top step of the podium this year. It's a change around Rally Monte Carlo, isn't it? We don't have as many kilometres, obviously, as normal. We're running very early in the morning. How much tougher do you think it could be this time around to get a great result? 
it's always tough to get a result here. Uh, you know, nothing is straightforward. Um, and of course, now we have the the dark element of the rally now most mornings. Um, so you know, we're going to have to get to grips with that first thing in the morning. And uh, and it could be quite difficult to to read the grip, but you know, it'll be more or less the same for everyone. So uh, let's wait and see. So, as I said, if he thinks about the weather too much in the snow, he might not get a good night's sleep. What about you? Do you worry about the weather conditions tomorrow or not? Well, worrying won't change it. So, uh, no, I think it's it's always a stress, you know, at the last minute to do a tyre call. But like I says, uh, you, you know, you can have all the, the meteorologists in the world, but uh, especially here uh, in the Alps, you know, anything can happen. And the best thing to do is to, to prepare everything else as well as possible and, and be ready to react in the morning. Well, guys, wish you a good night's sleep tonight. Back in action tomorrow. We're looking forward to it already. Thank you very much.